Hey everyone, PJ here. First off, I want to say Happy New Year! So to kick off this new year, I have a very special video planned. Last year, I made a video covering 9 disturbing things you shouldn't Google. And since you've already read the title, you know where I'm going with this. That's right, I've got another morbid video for you. Even though my last video on the subject got age restricted, but anyhow. Here are 9 more disturbing things that you shouldn't Google. Even though you're probably just going to do it anyway. Funky Town Gore is the name of an infamous cartel video that went viral on Reddit a while ago. The video starts with a guy being tied down to a floor. Right at the start of the video, his face and hands have been cut off. The people doing this were pumping him full of adrenaline solely to keep him alive and fully conscious throughout this entire ordeal. After a while of excruciating torture, they force a sickle through his neck in order to stop his screaming, which produces a sickening gurgling sound. At the end of the video, you can faintly hear the song Funky Town start playing in the background, which gave it the name Funky Town Gore. I'd love to go more into this video, but I'm gonna end it here because I don't want to have a hit put on me. Side note, the song Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses and Beat It by Michael Jackson can also be heard in the background, before Funky Town starts playing. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one brief since I don't want to get put on a watch list, but here we go. Daisy's Destruction is a dark web video that was made by Scum of the Earth Peter Scully that helped popularize the Hercoy genre. It was long thought to just be a creepypasta meant to scare people, like the grifter or smile.jpg. However, the video was later discovered to actually exist after it surfaced on 4chan. I haven't watched the video for myself, because I really don't want to see that, but Based on what I've read, the video depicts an 18-month-old baby, presumably named Daisy, being brutally raped and tortured by a group of sick individuals, including Peter Scully himself. This video is apparently so vile and disturbing that it traumatized 4chan users. And those people see messed up shit on a daily basis. Not only is this one of the most disturbing videos on the internet, but it's also illegal to look up. So unless you want the police to show up at your front door with a battering ram, I would suggest not looking this up. For those of you that have been living under a rock since 2007, I'm going to give you a brief rundown. Christian Weston Chandler, now known as Christine Weston Chandler, or just Chris Chan for short, is a YouTube vlogger most known for the webcomic they made called Sonichu. Honestly, if you want to know more about Chris Chan, The Gamer from Mars made a multi-part documentary which I highly recommend you check out, but I should warn you, each part is over an hour long. The reason I'm bringing up Chris Chan here is because sometime during his life, Chris Chan decided to transition. Her reason for doing this was so that she could hook up with lesbians since she had already given up on straight women. And in order to speed up the transitioning process, she decided to go to her bathroom and take matters into her own hands and attempted to cut her penis off and for whatever reason, decided to take pictures of this, which later got leaked onto the internet. These pictures can be found on the surface web, but I highly recommend against looking them up. Especially if you're a dude. I'd recommend heeding my warning on this if you have an upcoming surgery. Anesthesia awareness is exactly what it sounds like. You can hear, see, and feel everything that's going on around you, but you can't move or speak to let the doctors know you're still conscious. Meaning that when the doctors cut you open, you can feel every last incision they make, and you can't do anything about it. Some people have even developed PTSD as a result of anesthesia awareness. Thankfully, ever since this discovery, the rates have gone down significantly, and doctors even have ways to tell if someone isn't fully unconscious. Robert Bud Dwyer is the name of an American politician who served as a Republican member of the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. On January 22, 1987, he took his own life at the age of 47. He was involved in a court case where he was convicted of five counts of mail fraud, four counts of racketeering, perjury, and conspiracy to commit bribery. During the court case, he opened up an envelope which contained a loaded revolver. He put the gun in his mouth and pulled the trigger. This incident happened on live TV as millions of people witnessed his suicide. Footage of this incident was uploaded on YouTube but got taken down for violating community guidelines. The worst part is that after Arba Dwyer's suicide, someone admitted to lying in court. Meaning Bud very well could have been innocent. 
If you search up Rat King expecting to see images of rats wearing tiny crowns, prepare to be disappointed. Instead, you will find images of dead rats with their tails stuck together. Yeah. Not sure why this is called a Rat King, since if you ask me, that's a very misleading name, but to each their own. Rat Kings usually form when rats have a sticky substance on their tails, such as sap. Their tails get stuck together and they become intertwined. This has also been reported happening to squirrels as well. Just when you think the world can't get any more depraved. If you search for baby hamburger, you're not going to find images of babies wearing hamburger costumes. In fact, this entry barely has anything to do with hamburgers at all. Instead, what you'll find is a video straight from the dark web of a baby being slowly cooked alive inside an oven. You can even hear the baby cry out in agony. I have no idea who the hell is behind this video, so for all we know, he could still be out there to this day. All I'm gonna say is, don't hire babysitters from the dark web. If you ever plan to search up Evan Fournier, be absolutely damn sure you do not forget his first name. The NBA player himself even released a tweet warning people not to google his last name. What's the big deal? Well, Fournier is a type of gangrene that affects the genitals. Yeah. Sharing the same name is a flesh-eating virus that has a specific craving for genitalia. Well, doesn't that just sound pleasant? One Lunatic, One Eyes Pick is a shock video that was uploaded to the website bestscore.com. It was made by gay porn star Luca Magnata, who also went by another name, The Butcher of Montreal. In the video, he can be seen stabbing a naked man with both an ice pick and a kitchen knife. The victim was later identified as 33-year-old Jun Lin, a Chinese student Magnata had met on Grindr. Magnata lured Jun Lin into his room and proceeded to make Lin the star of his new snuff film. In the video, Magnata can even be seen eating parts of Jun Lin as well as committing acts of necrophilia. Holy shit. After the video was uploaded to Best Score, it became an internet meme. One Lunatic, One Ice Pick was the only snuff film Luca Magnata made. He also made another video titled One Boy, Two Kittens, which I will cover if I ever make a part 3. And those were 9 more disturbing things you shouldn't google. Let me know what you thought in the comments, as well as if you want me to make a part 3. And normally I'd advise you to do your own research on these topics, but in this instance, I'm going to have to advise against that. So if you do decide to do your own research, I'd recommend proceeding with caution. And as always, my name is PJ, and I'm going to go get ice cream.